All right, we're here at the Golden Nose Award 2010 at the New York Wine and Culinary Center. We have Shannon Brock, who is the, what would you call yourself, the, the manager? Ah, uh, sure, the on-site manager. On-site manager. You're an employee here at the Culinary yes, Center. Yes, I'm the wine coordinator here. And this year you guys tackled Golden Nose for the first time? Yep. And uh, tell us a little bit about the Golden Nose here at the Culinary Center. Well, we're trying to keep it similar to how it was when it was held at Corning Museum of Glass because we had reports that people really enjoyed it and it was a great format. So as much as we could, we kept the format the same. Uh, it's a little bit different venue because we are really well set up for a wine judging experience. We have lots of different rooms uh, where the judging is taking place and we used our demonstration theater, which is a state-of-the-art amphitheater style room for the judge training this morning. And it's a great room. It enables people to ask a lot of questions and, and be pretty interactive. Now, earlier I queried not one but two of your chefs to try and get my arms around the food you guys are serving up because, of course, you got to be eating food while you're participating in an event like this. Uh, and they all waffled on me, Shannon. So they said you are the one to talk about food. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's well, what I said. Well, I like said. to eat food. So. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Are you familiar with the, with the stuff they'll be munching on today? Um, yeah, we do, a, uh, we do a fantastic lunch buffet, which is what everyone's having for lunch. And uh, our chefs are really serious about and dedicated to using as much New York product as possible. So even at this time of year, April, when it's one of the hardest months to get your hands on New York product, but they still use you know, locally made bread, they house smoke the meats, they use um, local dairy products, they still have a lot of root vegetables from the fall that they're using, butternut squash and things like that. So it's amazing what they can pull out even in the, uh, the hardest, the part of the, the time of year when things are just starting to get growing. Well, and I can honestly say I always look forward to a meeting here at the Culinary Center. Because you guys really do have great food. We do. We do. <laughs> the best yep. food. The best meeting food ever. <laughs> yeah. It, it's good. And the, uh, the soft baked cookies right out of the oven are my personal favorite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, so you've got, you've got a good number of attendees this year. Mm hmm And they hail from uh, just New York State, the Finger Lakes region, or? Oh, no. We've got people from uh, throughout the Northeast that have come into town. I think our furthest attendee is from Delaware, but we've got folks from New York City, Massachusetts, downstate, upstate. Um, the upstate cities, Buffalo, Syracuse, Rochester, as well as some locals from the Finger Lakes area. And I know this year you added a new component pertaining to Riesling to the event. Yeah, so we decided since Riesling is the leading uh, wine variety as far as, you know, it's the one that gets the most critical acclaim for the Finger Lakes, we wanted to have a special Riesling Champion Award where we could uh, give a, a special prize to the Riesling that was judged to be the best in the competition. And the wineries really responded to that because because 25% of the wines entered in this year's competition are Riesling. So they're all vying for that top prize. And in the end, what, 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 you'll give away a bunch of medals. What, what kind of medals do you give away? Um, it actually looks like a nose. Like the golden nose yeah. icon, the logo. Yeah, it does. It's shaped like that. And, you know, some people say, hmm, I'm not quite sure how attractive that is, but it definitely gets people's attention. Distinctive. There's that no would, that would be the, word. the golden nose award. <laughs> and you give out, you got gold, silver, bronzes. Yes, we also have uh, gold, silver, bronze. We also have a double gold, which is an extra shiny gold medal. And that one is given when all the judges on the panel agree that it's a gold medal when you mine. So another way of calling it would be a consensus gold. Okay, and then you also have the best of class right. category? So what does for, that mean? Um, get best of class is for wines that, uh, if we had at least six wines entered in the category, we're going to select, uh, the judges will be presented with the gold medal winning uh, varieties from that category and they'll choose the best of. Alright, are we missing anything, Shannon? Um, this will be taking place next year? Yes. Uh, yeah, we're uh, we're really excited about the event. It, it's been a great event. I think it's it's different than anything else we've ever done at the Culinary Center. Um, it puts a different spin on things. It, it's a great way for us to further our mission of supporting New York State wine. It's uh, mo most of our events focus on wines from all over New York State, but this allows us to specifically. Um, focus on Finger Lakes wines and, and get a lot of wineries involved. We have a lot of local students from FLCC and RIT um, volunteering here today. So it's a great way of bringing the people in the industry to get together with uh, some serious wine enthusiasts and having a great time and learning something in the process. All right, that's the Golden Nose Award 2010 hosted here at the New York Wine and Culinary Center. Shannon Brock, the manager. What's the domain name if people want to find out more? Oh, www.com. 
nywcc.com for the Culinary Center or also goldennose.com. Excellent. Shannon, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.